This is John for John Speed. I'm back at the ballpark in Rosemont. I have one of the newest bandits, Chelsea Forkin. How are you? Yeah, I'm great this morning, John. Welcome to Chicago. Welcome to the bandits. Thanks so much. I'm um, really excited to be here and be a part of the organization. Well, we're excited to have you. Can you tell us a little bit about your softball path? I know that you, you didn't start playing softball, actually, until you were about 16. Yeah, I was a bit of a late bloomer. Um, I grew up playing baseball um, and sort of just playing from when I was about six years old up until uh, I was about 15 with the boys and um, just transitioned across to softball and had an opportunity to, to play um, some ball. I was going to say, you didn't just play with the boys. You were one of the best. Um, you, 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 were the only, you were the only uh, girl, I believe, on the, uh, the, or the first girl on, the, on a 1400 men's team? Yeah, I was, um, yeah, growing up in Perth, I was the first girl to do that, but um, you know, I certainly had a lot of help and a lot of support, and yeah, I was very lucky, yeah. <laughs> so, and, and you, you, you were part of uh, two national titles, in, or three national titles in Australia? Yeah, all with um, the West Australian team, yep, um, and also with one with um, Queensland Heat. Um, so two separate teams, but um, yeah, it was uh, probably some of the, the fondest memories I have of playing softball. And then last year you came over, you, you played here in the NPF. Yep. What type of differences were there, be, did you notice, or what kind of challenges between the Australian, playing in Australia and playing here? I'd say the biggest would be um, just the amount of games that we were playing. Um, you know, we were playing like 45 something games last year, and you know, I've never played that many games in a season before. and. Um, it was certainly tough on the body and, and mentally as well, but you know you, you cope as you go along and you, you learn new strategies. And um, so I'd say that would probably be the biggest difference from well, from in Australia to, to over here. And you played against some of your Australian friends, Australian teammates. How was that last year? I mean, it was definitely um, you know it was definitely funny um, you know what, looking, looking across the diamond and seeing um, you know people like Taylor and and Stacey Porter on the opposition team, but um, you know, we're great friends off the field as well, so it was, it was great. It was awesome to see them um, play as well in the league. So then this year, now you're playing with the bunch for Yeah. So how cool is that then? Um, very cool, very cool. Um, you know, it's just like old times, you know. Um, we get to play together again in, in a new environment, so um, you know, it's lots to look forward to. And are you, are you trying to make the Olympic team in, in 2020? Is that part of your goal? I'd say so, yeah. Um, that's definitely always been, a, you know, my major goal. Um, next year uh, we have our world championships, so that's probably, you know, we've got to qualify first. So that's the the main thing that I'm really thinking about for the team. But um, you know, long term, it would definitely be to play in Tokyo for the games. Awesome. Well, we, we welcome you into Chicago. We wish you luck with that and this season. Let's let's win a title this season first. And then we'll go for the rest. Yeah, three feet, right? Three feet, right, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it and good luck. Thanks, John. Thanks. Cheers.